Hello everyone, I am Gaurav Nigam, founder and director of Tumble Dry, India's largest laundry and dry clean chain <clears throat> with over 250 plus stores across 75 cities of India. I have been creating a video every week uh, to help answer queries of uh, people who are interested in partnering with Tumble Dry. And if you are interested in such videos, please follow us uh, on our channel by pressing on the bell icon. So let's start today's video. When a lot of people approach us, they have one basic query. Will this business be profitable or how can a laundry business make profit or when will my business become operationally profitable? So today <clears throat> I've decided to explain how Tumble Dry guarantees a profitable business. If you are interested in becoming a franchisee partner of Tumble Dry and worried about your prospective profits, this video should help uh, assuage some anxiety of yours. So let's begin. Just to reiterate. We have 250 plus stores across 75 plus towns in India and 95% of all our franchisee stores have achieved a operational break even in the first three months of the launch. Now, what is operational break even? Uh, that could be a question coming to your mind. So let me explain in very simple terms. To run a showroom or a store, you have to incur some expenses which cannot be done away with, <clears throat> which means that you have to pay the rent you have to pay the salaries of your staff, uh, you have to pay electricity bill and some consumables like uh, chemicals, packaging, etc. So when the store's revenue becomes greater than all these expenses that you have to incur mandatorily to run your store, that is the point when we say operational break even. This is the point when you stop investing in running the store and the store itself generates enough money to sustain itself. So. To repeat again, <clears throat> Tumble Dry has been able to help our, its partners uh, achieve operational break-even within first three months of launch. And that is probably the reason why 35% of Tumble Dry partners have taken up a second or a third Tumble Dry franchisees in this area. Many of you would also like to understand <clears throat> uh, whether this Tumble Dry business is only meant for metros or big towns, whether it can run successfully in small towns also or not, whether it will be very profitable or as profitable as big towns in a small town also or not. So <clears throat> let me tell you, uh, the need of good laundry and dry clean services is across the country, whether you are in a category A town, category B town or a category C town. It is just that people in category B town and C town don't have access to luxury or uh, good services of laundry and dry cleaning in their cities and therefore they make do with local dry cleaners available over there. <clears throat> I would like to explain some other reasons also why tumble dry stores are successful in small towns. Uh, unlike local dry cleaners, tumble dry runs live laundry and dry clean stores. What it means is that customers can see very transparently how their clothes are being treated right in front of their eyes. They can get confidence with the right kind of machinery, the high tech equipment we use. Uh, the right kind of eco-friendly chemicals and detergents that we use to process their garments. Next is our prompt service delivery. A local dry cleaner will take four to five days to deliver your clothes while we tumble dry which runs a live store can deliver the clothes sometimes even in even four hours and definitely next day uh, to our customers. The third is we add convenience to our customers life by offering pick and drop services which most of the local dry cleaners do not do. Fourth. Building on the convenience angle, we have a mobile application and therefore we don't need any paper bills, etc. You can simply download our application, schedule a pickup, track your order, make payments. So completely paperless operations. Uh, when you face some issue with your cloth or with your order, uh, generally what you will do is that you will make multiple calls, you will travel to the store, etc. and complain. At Tumble Dry, we have a centralized call center, a customer help desk, which, okay, which is reachable from 8 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. Anytime you can just simply call and log in your complaint or query and we will be there to help you and assist you. <clears throat> Finally, and last but not the least, the cleaning quality that Tumble Dry offers is far, far better than what a local dry cleaner can offer simply because of the right kind of machinery, the right kind of detergent and the right kind of training that Tumble Dry imparts to its franchisee partners and its employees. So, Coming to the next question, what is the revenue required to actually break even, become uh, or get to a stage of operational break even? 
Uh, this will vary between city to city where you're operating, but the range is generally between 1 lakh to 1.25 lakhs. If your store is able to generate this much revenue, then you will achieve an operational break even. And let me tell you, you just need 50 unique customers to be served every month consistently to achieve this break even. And uh, in a matter of two to three months, uh, as I said earlier, 95% of tumble dry stores have been able to achieve this benchmark. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, what is the peak revenue people ask uh, that is that can be done uh, by a tumble dry store uh, the peak revenues uh, that can be done by a tumble dry store within one year of its launch is anywhere around 3 lakhs uh, when your store achieves uh, an age of 2 years plus then we have stores in noida in gurgaon that were opened in the initial phases of tumble dry who are now doing a revenue of 6 lakhs sometimes even 7 lakhs per month so <clears throat> Uh, that's about addressing what is the peak that a store can do and we are yet to discover can we go beyond 6 lakhs or 7 lakhs or not. Uh, <clears throat> so just to uh, give you some example of uh, how tumble dry stores are doing in small towns like Faizabad, Haldwani, Gorakhpur, these stores are consistently doing a revenue of anywhere between 3 to 4.5 lakhs per month. Yes, let me repeat, small towns in places like Haldwani, Faizabad, Gorakhpur, tumble dry stores are able to do a consistent month on month revenue of anywhere between 3 to 4.5 lakhs per month. So how do we ensure uh, a strong revenue platform to help our partners generate so much revenue? Well, right from day one, our marketing team takes complete charge and control of your online marketing. And at the same time, our offline team starts guiding and handholding the franchisee store and its employees on how to do offline promotion and neighborhood marketing in and around their store. First of all, we will list your store on the Google platform and all other neighborhood applications like Just Dial, Yellow Pages, Suvidha, etc. So that when customers in your area search for a dry clean or laundry service near them, your store name pops out up, pops out up front. <clears throat> we also run paid Google ads and Facebook, Instagram and Twitter ads to promote your store in a radius of three to five kilometers uh, from where you are running this business. Next to this, we keep on updating the tumble dry website every month based on the latest Google algorithm so that we pop up in search results uh, among the top five or top 10 searches so that customers find it convenient to locate tumble dry. Other than this, there's a lot of social media promotion again on Facebook, Instagram and other uh, social media applications. We work on massive customer engagement through SMSs, WhatsApp messages, emails, uh, mobile app notifications. And last but not least, uh, to attract new customers, there is a consistent OBD which is run, which is an outbound dialer campaign, which is consistently run across the month uh, to engage with our customers. So <clears throat> I've talked about operational break even. I have talked about uh, whether this can work in small towns or not. I have talked about uh, what is the peak revenue that you can earn? Uh, I've also given some information on how does tumble dry help you uh, att attain such revenues in a very short time. <clears throat> so <clears throat> one of the last questions that might still be in your mind. So how much time will it take to recover my initial capital investment? Generally, we've seen uh, it will take our franchisee partners anywhere between 24 to 30 months to achieve this return of investment. And let me tell you, no other franchise proposition or business model uh, can guarantee such a great success or such a faster return of capital than tumble dry. Finally, one question from my side that I would like to answer is the role and responsibility or rather what is expected from a franchisee partner. And this is a very, very important point. And therefore I will read it out rather than uh, speaking from memory. We require you to follow our processes, policies and brand service levels very, very rigorously. We help you completely at every stage with both on-site and off-site support, but we request and expect you to follow the guidelines with complete discipline at your store. We are in a service business and without following these guidelines, we can't provide right service to our customers and thus chances of store gaining a faster success become less. As a brand, we are very honest and upfront with respect to the responsibilities of both the brand, which is me and Tumble Dry team, and also of the franchisee, which is you. And perhaps this honest relationship from the start is the reason that our franchisee stores have been so successful. 
this is all for today i hope you find this video informative and helpful uh, in uh, helping you make a decision whether you should partner with tumble dry or not uh, keep watching us keep looking out for more videos in future thank you so much